Don't let it be day. Get up. Hmm, not yet. I'm having a heart attack. Every day's the same. Heart attacks, cancer. Get up. I'm dead. Can I move my arms? Rachel, dear. Morning, Mother. See, I was wondering if by any chance you intend to pass your bobs on your way home from school this evening. Well, I don't intend anything at the moment, but I can. Well, maybe you could pick me up one of those nice chocolate bars. All right. It can be small. The five-cent one's plenty good enough for me. Good morning, Hector. Good morning, Rachel. Come You're out on the job early this morning. I had to stand this nightmares all night long. Guilty conscience? Don't I wish? Rachel! Don't get me the milk, you know. Get the plain. Not so much cholesterol in What? It. The chocolate. room in my skull to that sort of thing. Cameron? 
Boy, what a day, huh? It's chill in the air now, but it's gonna be a scorcher. Yes, the summer certainly seems to be upon us. Yeah. Angela's working on her summer cold already. Every year, like clockwork. Hey, you know your eyes look a little red, too? The Sandman failed to pay his usual visit to me last night. You know you ought to take a nerve relaxer? I do. Once the tension's gone, sleep can be a very sensual experience. Leighton, is there something special you have in mind? Oh, well, Angela and I were wondering if you'd like to have some supper with us at home tonight. Well, she'd really like it. So would I. I mean, we've been meaning to have you for a very long time, but... Oh, Angela's been busy with out-of-town relations, and now summer's here, and we haven't had our little Rachel. Oh, Angela's been busy with out-of-town relations, and now summer's here, and we haven't had our little Rachel in for a single meal. So if you could see your way clear, you'd be putting bomb on sore consciences. Well, tonight is my mother's bridge night. Uh, Leighton, I'm awfully sorry. I usually fix her coffee and sandwiches. Oh, what a pity. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. Hey, and an old friend of yours is gonna be there, too. Just the four of us. Who is that? Uh-huh. Too late now. <laughs> Unless you change your mind. me for supper tonight, and I said no, the groper. He probably serves rat. Come on up after, I bought you a, a nothing gift. What? A companion that needs taken care of, but unlike your mother, it doesn't talk back. All right. Have all my Walter Raleigh's died? Drawbridges do not open by themselves. Thank you. Sweet and low, sweet and low, wind of the western sea, love. I've been going over your attendance records, among other things. James Dougherty has been absent too much. Three weeks in March. Ten days in May, and again this week. Yes, I know. It's tonsillitis. James has too much honor to play hooky. I only want to talk to him, Rachel. Now, would you send the young gentleman out to me, please? Clayton, it's his mother's fault. She wrote the excuses. Would you like to conduct the entire investigation?
James, would you go to Mr. Sidley, please? He's waiting in the hall. James, get your things. Yeah. Where are we going? Home, to my house. Miss Cameron. What? Do I still have to call you Miss Cameron anymore? Darling, you can call me anything you like. your ass down here. Oh, just ignore it. Where's my present? May I watch over you till fall? When things get glumpy, you just hold it up to the light. You get the feeling you're actually sitting under it. And everything gets very calm and quiet. It's too much. I just wish I had something to give to you. What are you planning to do between now and Labor Day? <laughs> Sit on the porch with Mama? <laughs> I guess so. I am going to paint my apartment lilac. We bought a whole mess of lilac paint on sale to use a tabernacle. <laughs> but nobody liked it but me. <laughs> I'm gonna get a good suntan. No, I'm not. Every summer I say that and I buy oodles of suntan lotion and at the end of the summer I'm still just as pale as a mushroom. Yeah, well, we shouldn't make too much vacations. They're just time like any other time. A dozen Sunday newspapers. I'm in the exact middle of my life. What? I'm exactly in the middle of my life. This is my last... ascending summer. Everything else from now on is just... rolling downhill into my grave. My life didn't even begin until a year ago next week. The eve of the 4th of July was my dependence day. Independence. Don't correct me. That was the day I started leaning on the Lord. Well, you made a bargain not to talk about that. I think friends are more important than bargains. I'm not going to listen. I'm just going to whistle. Don't you want to open yourself up to life and loving experiences? 
Cal, if I want to hear people yell and slobber and make fools of themselves, I will go to an insane asylum. You're certainly an authority for someone who doesn't know a damn thing about it. Well, I don't know whether you're talking about God or LSD. That's the second time you've been bitchy today. Don't call me child, Cal. It sounds ridiculous. You just made me aware of how we talk, that's all. Like Sidoni Travis. Have you ever heard her? Rachel, dear, would you be a good girl and pass me one of those yummy cookies? Cal, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Well, back to our respective cages. I just want to say one thing. Every time we've ever gone for an ice cream cone, you've ordered vanilla. That's not the only kind, Rachel. There are 30 other flavors plus a flavor of the month. And there are more people on this earth than just you. Calla? When's the next... What do you call it, service? Tomorrow. Why? If you want me to, I'll come. Don't do me any favors. You want your tree back? All right, I'm gonna plant it. Right here in the asphalt. Oh, Rachel. <laughs> Nighty night. Nighty night. You out there? You want to be upstairs with your mom? Are you Stevie? No, I'm Nick. You look just like Stevie. Twins means you look like somebody. Did Dad put him in the basket? Yeah. Did you did you watch? They wouldn't let me. Rachel! Did I hear myself say to get upstairs, or was that my imagination? Dad, what are you gonna do to him? Going to make him happy again and put back his lovely smile. Now, you best do what I ask before I count to three. One. What made him die? At the infantile, like all the others. Now, I'm counting, miss. One's used up. You know what happens when I get to three. Two. Two and a half. Two and three quarters. Two and seven, eight. You're awfully late this evening, dear. I almost gave up. I'm sorry. I don't enjoy sitting here entertaining the pots and pans. Where are you? I'm right here, Mother. Oh, kiss me, dear. I'm all full of egg white. Oh, I'm exhausted. When it got to be 6 o'clock and you still hadn't come, I thought, oh, my goodness. She's correcting papers. Shababs will be closed, and I bet she forgot all about my chocolate bar. Oh. I did. I'm sorry. I'm not criticizing. Do you know I'll forget sometimes? Anyhow, I got it myself. I took a nice long walk in the heat. 
Well, why don't you just lie down and take a rest, and I'll fix the sandwiches. Oh, no, darling. Really, I'm fine. Truly, I am. I just hope you're not coming down with something. Why, should I be? Well, dear, do that over here where I can see you. Do you have a fever? No. Here, give me your fork. Oh, just a little warm, that's all. Mother, I'm always warm. I heard the most awful thing about the Stewart girl today. Cassie Stewart has, shall we say, been away. Been away with quotation marks? Double quotation marks, twins, and no prospect of a husband in sight. Can you imagine her poor mother? She's a very nice woman, really, she is. Not too cultivated, but very nice. Oh, what a heartbreak for her. Twins. Yes, I suppose that must be twice the heartbreak of one. That's right, dear. Just go ahead and make light of it. Life is just a comedy to you. Is she going to keep them? Oh, that's what's so awful about it. She is. I found out all about it. It was Mrs. Barnes that told me. But I ran into her this morning on the porch at poor old Mr. Shoemaker's funeral. And I said to her, I said, oh, I said, well, I thank my lucky stars. I never had one moment's worry with either one of my daughters. Oh, Verla, you're not going to know Trump. Oh, girls, isn't she the meanest thing? Don't be a sore loser, May. When you come to my house, you can win three hearts. May I be a greedy little piggy and ask for another look at I that candy I'll box? I just try one of these peppermints. Don't feel them, Florence. You always feel it. Somebody had explained to me why they keep putting those green ones in with a limey taste. I mean, if they were going to look like peppermints, they should taste like peppermints. Don't you agree? Excuse me, but I have to go to bed now. Oh, until later, dear. Oh, my precious, and I thank you so much. Goodness, yes. Well, those elegant sandwiches were simply delicious. So glad you enjoyed them. Enjoyed them? <laughs> I'm not going to be able to haul myself out of this chair. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, I think Rachel is just marvelous. I mean, the way she manages things. And anybody who teaches is an absolute saint. Oh, she's always been wonderful with kids. Okay, bye. <laughs> Just so I can sleep. Don't. Bye, James. What are you going to have?
have today, Rachel? I'll have some um, cigarettes and um, chocolate bars. Oh, should I get some suntan lotion? Take a small one, Rachel. I'll give you a check for the whole caboodle, all right? Rachel Cameron. Nick. Nick Hasler. The one with the brother in the basket? You're staring. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I don't think I would have recognized you. I mean, we haven't seen each other since high school. <laughs> Thought we were going to have the pleasure of your company at Layton's last night. Oh, were you the one? Oh. Well, maybe I'll give you a chance to make it up. You want to go to a movie tonight? Well, what's playing? What's the difference? That'll be 402, <laughs> Rachel. Oh, thank you, Lee. Well, I, actually, I couldn't go tonight because I promised a friend that I would go someplace with her. Actually, I ought to be pointing my nose in the direction of home right now. Excuse me. Thank you. Still live in the same place? Oh, yes. I, I keep house for my mother. I have since my father died. I didn't know he died. There's no need for condolences. It was 14 years ago. That's a lot of housekeeping. You didn't get to college. Yes, I went to college, but when he died, I had to come back. You see, my mother sold the place to Hector Jonas for such a nominal sum that uh, he allowed us to live upstairs in perpetuity, or at least until we were ready to take our business downstairs to him. <laughs> Sorry, what did you ask me? I I'm a school teacher. I didn't ask you, but so am I. Oh, in the city? High school. High school in the city? Why did you come back here? See my folks. They are beginning to slow down. Another look. That's all. Well, I hope you have a nice visit. Excuse me. You want to go to a movie tomorrow night? I, I don't like movies very much. I, I see so many of them on television. How about your sister? Is she busy? Oh, Stacy? Stacy got married and moved away. We don't see much of her since she uh, had her children. And you got left behind? Oh, oh. I forgot my galoshes. Hey. Oh. Thank you. Uh, no offense, I was just looking for a little action. I thought maybe you might be, too. Maybe I'll see you, Nick. Excuse me. Oh, come on, Rachel. We'll miss the beginning. I'm a sleepwalker. <laughs> Have you by any chance had yourself a little nipsy on the sly? Sure. First an encounter at Shabab's and then home to the cooking, Sherry. That's me. Nothing's real. Nothing is now. If somebody pinched me, I wouldn't even hurt. Oh, I know I've only got one life. I say to myself, oh, maybe next time this or that comes around, I'll grab it. But nothing ever comes around again, ever, does it? Please don't chicken out. It's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, myself, I can't make. You don't know anything about yourself. Trust me. Welcome, brother. Lean on the Lord. Kella, good to see you. This is my friend Rachel Cameron. How are you? Two seats, right over there.
this beautiful baby be free. Corruption raging, our limbs must pray us all. We naked now be seizing, a place we need our throne. I call Sisters, I'm just standing here feeling so blessed that I have to tell you why. I can't keep the joy inside me. Listen to me. Those of you who were here one night last winter remember that we had a visitor. Yes. 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 A man who brought God right into this room, brought the voice of the living God right into this room like a mighty rushing wind. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. He's here with us again. Hello. Hello. Praise God. That man is sitting right there. Right back in that dark kitchen. Oh, oh my God. I'm so grateful. Oh, he is so beautiful if you live in this garden and he speaks in tongues. He does what? He's got the gift of tongues. Close the doors, please. Please, everyone, sit down. I've been a lot of places and something's happening. Now, something is beginning to happen. Now, not just with kids, but all... all kinds of people, all ages, all over. Maybe for the first time since Jesus Christ. You see, there's this tremendous yearning to, to be words <laughs> words 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 and walls walls between us chasms animals are less alone with roaring than we are with all our words how we suffer How we languish in the deep and lifeless dungeons of ourselves. We're cut off from each other. We're cut off from the God in each other. Oh, what can we do? Can't we be what we are? Isn't that our first and final obligation? To be more and more what we are. More and more the image God made us his, mine, man's. Look at your neighbor. Go on, look, the human being in front of you or next to you that you don't know. Look in his eye. And now, who is he? He's you. And you're him, and you're both suffering because you can't say what you want to to each other. Now, what do you want to say? <coughs> what do you feel? Feel. Love. Say it again. Love. Oh, say it, people. Say it. Love. Love. Praise love. God. With all your hearts, people, love. Love. You know what that is to say that here. In this life, in this world, it's happening. Love that is given by God through us to one another, the greatest gift of the Spirit, don't you feel it happening? Don't you love the Lord with all your hearts? Yes! yes. 
Stop, Lord. Why don't you come out in front, old man. Will you help him, please? And you, will you help her? And you, come right out here. And you, ma'am. Go on. And you? Oh. You mustn't be afraid. Are you so frightened of a hand? No. It's only a hand. It won't harm you, don't you know that? Five fingers to hold with, to hold on with. Do you hold on to me? I think you want to. Be willing, please. Please allow what you're feeling. Is open. Love. Say it with me. Love. It's just a word. Don't be embarrassed. Say it. Love. Love. Again, love. Again, love. Will you all stand, please? Join hands. Join hands in an endless chain of love that our living God can pass through. Oh, my friends, I believe the Lord is here this very minute wanting to help us. Oh, please, Lord, please free these people from all their suffering. The Church of the Apostles, this very church did indeed enjoy and practice to the fullest every gift of the Spirit. Yeah. Each and every gift of the Spirit. Now there are diversities of gifts, but given by the same Spirit. For the one is given by the Spirit, the word of wisdom. For the, other, the gift of healing. my name. What happened? Nothing. N nothing bad. I was on the floor. Nothing bad happened. Honestly, Rachel. I... Was I loud? Did it take long? It was a couple of minutes, maybe. But was I loud? It was just a tiny little voice. You could hardly hear it. I don't believe you. I am not a liar, Rachel. If in case you think God had something to do with that, he didn't. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap. I just... Oh, don't do that. I feel so responsible. I made a fool of myself. And we're all fools. You can't be part of the human race and not be a fool to somebody. But I can't trust myself anymore. I don't... Oh, honey, 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 lamb. My poor honey, lamb. 
Oh, it practically kills me to see you like you. Oh, Rachel. Oh. Oh, I didn't... I didn't mean that. How are you? How'd you do? How'd you double do? Will you be with me? Do you promise to be with me? Doctors can't make promises. Just try to let the sedative take its effect now. Oh, to think, Jim, you'll be holding my heart in your hand. Actually holding it in your two good hands. Haven't I always done that? I'm sorry I didn't pull into the drive, but if I parked behind that hearse, I'd feel like I was next in line. Oh, listen, don't I know?
It's not even you. Thank you. That's to make up for taking so long. Did you get something here, you said? There's a technique to this because these things go off like cherry bombs. And if the manager hears, and no drinking on the premises, that sort of thing. So if it's a comedy, wait until everybody is laughing. But if it's quiet, the way it is now, you gotta create your own diversionary action. All right, buddy, no drinking in here. Out. 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 Well, that's what I said, out. Come on, you too. Cheers. 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 Here's to you, and here's to me, and if we ever disagree, here's to me. Uh, and Nick, your old man's been in here looking for you. He kept hollering your brother's name. Steve, Steve. Well, next time, tell him to look in the graveyard. Nick. Three times this week, he's called me Steve. That's awful. Don't waste your sympathy. The wily bastard's as lucid as I am. It's part of a plot to make me take over the farm. Oh, you're the bastard. My heart really bleeds for him. I hate cows, that's all. I'm not my brother, OK? OK. Cows. I don't like the way they parade around nude in mixed company. I think they should either wear brassieres, have slips, or go to jail. What about you? <laughs> well, we really go at each other like mastodons sometimes. We really trump each other. You and your father? Wow. Don't you think people that love each other usually... Love? I should have been the one in the basket. Father spiders and brother spiders, we all have our share. Sometimes even the ones you think are gone are still with you. You step on a spider, it wriggles till the sun goes down. I, I know, I think that's snakes. It's the same thing. Yeah. I like you, Rachel. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Don, you want to shoot me over another beer? Boy, when you look at a person, you really look. Was I staring? Oh, right across to the wrong side of the tracks. What did you think of us? Us bohunk kids way back then. I envied you. Why? Did you think we spent all our time getting laid and doing gay Slavic dances? <sighs> I've embarrassed you again. Like when I said I was looking for a little action. I'm sorry. No, it's just that sometimes you don't talk very much like a school teacher. There aren't any second graders yet. Let's dance. Well, I only do the box dance. You want to go someplace with me? Someplace? Uh, my mother has a rather uncertain heart, and she gets very worried about me when I'm not home on time. So I, I think maybe the evening had better be over now. Mother spiders weave very sticky webs, too. Can I make the big decision for you? Please.
Thank you. How polite and well brought up you are. Thank you, please, for everything. of you two brought that along. Mm, that's me. Go out to the end. Have a seat. You have beautiful skin. Thank you. Touch me. The moon's so bright, I can see the cemetery. Well, that grave's a fine and private place, but none, I think, do there embrace. What's wrong? I just wanted to be so... Don't worry, love. It's never much good the first time. Is it so obvious, then? Is what so obvious? That is the first time for me. <laughs> you don't have to play the virgin. I'm not going to go around saying you're a whore. You must have had a lovely evening, dear, to have stayed out so late. Well, we, we drove around. It was, an, it was a lovely evening. Oh, I hope you didn't catch cold. The wind seemed awfully chilly to me. I opened the window and closed it again. Uh, did you have to take your heart pill? No. And I forgot my sleepy by pill, too. I just feel so wide awake and bright eyed. Does it show? Can a miracle happen and never show? Rachel, look, honey, I'm not such a whiz at saying things. He didn't say whiz, and he didn't call me honey. He said, fix yourself up when you get home. That's all. 
But how can I? I can't just walk into the drugstore and ask for what, what I need. Unless Mother has something. Some antique rubber museum piece that you can still smell the disinfectant on. Just so I can cancel out the clumsiness. Anyone seen that rotten thing that's on at the Manor Walker Theater this week? Not I, said the little red hen. Lawrence, I think you're sitting on the pencil. Oh, I always said that Claudette Colbert was so sweet and natural. And she always had such lovely hair. And Marguerite Clark, she was darling, too. Oh. That was years ago, Holly. Years and years ago. Well, it doesn't seem years and years ago to me. Pat, three hearts. Yes? Who is it? Nick? You're not exactly invisible, Calla. I left you a note, but it blew down. It's by the step. I just hadn't seen you around anywhere, so I thought something might be wrong. No, I've just been kind of busy. Yeah, well, well, just passing by. Oh, Rachel, I've been so miserable. Cal, it's my mother's bridge night. I'd, I'd like to stay out and talk, but I really think I'd better go back upstairs. You don't know what it's like. All I do is stare at the phone. I know it won't ring, and I don't have the courage to call. You build things up out of all proportion. I'm not asking you to go out or even see me, but we could have just one talk. I mean, if this silence goes on, it'll be impossible at school. I don't see why. Might as well give me my note back. I told you practically all that was in it and the rest of the confession you don't need. You look wonderful. You too. I'm just going to take that dirty old queen. What do you think of them apples? Are you going to discard? Oh, look, there's Hector. Hello, Hector. How's my favorite big gamblers this afternoon? Oh, we're scalding. Can't you do something about the humidity, Hector? If you're a real friend, you would. I have here two quarts of ripple fudge ice cream in this bag, and I'd love to accommodate you girls before it melts. Thank you, Hector, but I'm a vanilla girl. Or rather, I was. Cold, rich things on a warm day only make you warmer, Hector. I tried. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> well, I finally wormed it out of him. Why, he smells so much nicer than your father did. He smells just like a pine tree, you know. He told me that now they're putting perfume into the embalming fluid. Pine, cedar, rose, any pretty scent you like. <laughs> Your father always smelled of formaldehyde. Stuck to his clothes, it clung to everything he touched. Just like those nasty old wolverines I read about in the National Geographic. They leave their scent on everything they touch. 
died and we aired out the house, I realized that I hadn't taken a decent breath in 25 years. Oh, the smell of that first steam breeze made me nervous. Did she think he carried death upstairs with him? Did she think it was catching? Did I? Well, I'm going to go down with three. What do you mean, was? Don't you like vanilla anymore? No, as a matter of fact, I think I probably hate it. Hello? Mother, who is it? Mother? Uh, no, I'm sorry. She's having her shower right now. Who's calling, please? Who's calling, please? Just a minute, I'm coming! He says it's a Dr. Timothy Leary. Hello? Hello. Oh, oh hello. My folks are away for the weekend, so I thought maybe you'd like to play house. We've got like three bedrooms, so we can chase each other from room to room between, you know. Yes, I'd, I'd love to read that book. It sounds very interesting. Can you get it from the public library? Oh, you can't talk, right? Uh, right. At this moment, I'm Venus observed. I'll pick you up in an hour. We can go to the store and stock up, and you can cook us huge meals in between raptures. I'd, I'd love to see that play at the university. Uh, I, I hear it got excellent reviews. The, the only trouble is, do you think we could get back at a decent hour? I'm not planning to take you back at all. Listen, all we have to do is call your mother and tell her something reassuring, like the car went over a cliff. Oh, fine. With you in it. We don't want to be too hard in the old heart, right? <laughs> You're terrible. Then what are you laughing for? Goodbye. Nick? Shh. <laughs> That's a comfortable chuckle. Are you going to keep it to yourself or let me in on it? It's just remembering a poem that my father said. He used to say funny things that people wanted to have put on their tombstone. And this one was, a, Your days away don't fiddle at every season's drive. For once you're past the middle, you're more dead than alive. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> kind of apropos of me. I don't know. Guy drops dead in the middle of a piddle deserves to immortalize the moment. <laughs> I want to say something I've never said before. What? I'm happy. You're just feeling smug because you've improved a little. You know what I wish? For your sake. So you wouldn't have all that worry about your father. I've... Have you ever considered coming back here to live and, and teaching here and... Nick? Stop breathing. For a minute, I, I thought... Thought what? When I like somebody, I, I get scared. I, sometimes I, I dream about them being already embalmed. But if I hold on to you, nothing can hey, happen. Hey, whoa. Whoa. 
What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I haven't even fed you yet. I'm a hell of a host. I can go downstairs and make, make you an omelet. Well, whatever you want. I don't know what you eat. Nick, I'm sorry I didn't mean to surround you like that. I, I was only joking. I'm not breakable. See, all in one piece. <laughs> it's just such a new experience having contact with anyone. Just feeling you inside your skin is over. Just a few cents worth of chemicals is all that's under my skin. A lot of water. We're 90% water. That's not all that's under your skin. You're a loving person, Nick Caslin. Babe, we've only had two dates. You don't know me at all. I know enough. I know enough to say that I love you. I want a child. I... Look, I want to show you something. I think you should see this. I am not God. I can't solve anything. May I borrow your bathrobe, please? Sorry, I didn't get to cook you that omelet. Well, you can do that the next time. You mean that? Do I ever say anything I don't mean? Good night. I'll see you. Okay? I had an attack, that's what is it. Doctor said I might have died from such a shock. What shock? It's on your bed.
to uh, Mr. Nick Cantlick, please? Nick's not here. Could you, uh, when do you expect him back? Maybe Christmas, darling. Maybe next year. My son go away on, on Sunday. Could you tell me where I could reach him? Is, is he with his family? Nick ain't got no family. He never got married yet. It's all right. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Mother? Can I buy a drink? What? You look like you could use a drink. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Mama, too? Yes, yeah, she's fine. Well, you know, I only ask because I haven't heard too much talk up there lately. I was going to ring the bell, but uh, I heard footsteps and the John flush. I didn't want to be a butt-in. It's reassuring to know that you're aware of us, Hector. Oh, well, hell, hell, I mean. <laughs> Rye or Sherry, name your poison. Rye. Oh, wait, you want to go inside? I got air conditioning. No, I, I think out here. I've only been in there once. And... All right, you stay put, you stay there, and I'll be out in a flash. I'm really honored. Here. Let me know if it's light enough. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's the first time I ever saw you take a drink. Oh, I know you, you know. I'm an observer of human expressions. I've got to be in this business. <laughs> Hell, I'm the one who puts them there. I want to tell you, whatever the problem is, uh, I'm not asking. You know what you're like? You're like one of those trick birthday candles that won't blow out no matter how hard you try, they keep coming back. You got real guts, Rachel. Uh, do you like what I've done to the place? Well, you certainly have driven death away. Well, it's just a question of, uh, well, Presentation. What am I selling? I'm selling relief. Did I tell you about relief? Not yet. Ashes? Uh, ashes. Did I tell you that I bought a super duper upright organ that plays all by itself? <laughs> what? Rachel? Nothing. Oh, what? <laughs> 
didn't know you could just go out and buy those. How nice for everyone's wife. <laughs> my train of thought. No. <laughs> Hector, if a woman died while she was carrying a child, what would you do about it? In what sense are you referring? Would you embalm them together or separately? You shock me, Rachel. That's a terrible question. I hope it was a purely scientific one. I'd like to see where you do it. In the name of God, what are you doing? Get up. Get up. Get up. Hide her there. Come on, get up. She's been in the room. Don't stand there, woman. She has to be scrubbed right away. Hector, would you mind putting your arm around me? Not at all. Oh, God. I wish I wasn't losing my hair. Hector, things like that don't matter. Oh, they do. They, no, they do, do if you're getting bald. They do. Hector, help me. How? Sometimes I can't even tie my shoelace. I think I've done something that's going to finish my mother. You oughtn't to tell me things like that. I don't know. I don't know anything. Hey, if I gave you the wrong advice, can you imagine? But you know. Oh, the only thing I'm good for is to tell you where to go to have it. You know. Killed?
Rachel. Rachel. Have you any idea what time it is? Well, it's three o'clock. I think that's a hell of a nerve. Well, I'm a very drunk, very pregnant lady, and I need a friend. I'm out of saccharin. Can you stand sugar? I just take milk. You know, if I think about having it without considering anybody else, it just seems like... What? Finish it. More than anything I could hope for in my whole life. Without Nick? No, oh, he wasn't real. I made him up. But it's living there, all by itself. Inside of me. I, I never thought anything alive could ever grow in me. You think I could? Think I dare? If you did, it could be the first decision you ever made that showed any respect for yourself. James, you look like a healthy young woman. Your blood pressure's normal. Your heart's still beating. That's nice. Whoops. We don't want that cotton anymore. Okay. In Chicago. I know Chicago. Where's Cannon Street? It's, um, or it's, it's just out by the lake. Well, those ritzy north side neighborhoods, huh? I guess so. Any complications so far? No, should there be? No. 35 is just a little late to start. That's oh. Right. Now, let's lie down. What? It's all right. Just lie down. That's it. And try to think of his college education. And try to relax. I am. I'm sorry. All right, now try to relax now, Mrs. James. Sit up now. All right? I'm afraid Junior's not planning to visit you just yet, but I'm glad you came in when you did. What do you mean? It's not what we thought it was. There's something there causing the symptoms, and it ought to come out. What ought to come out? It's just a small cyst. There's nothing to be concerned about. Is that all? It couldn't be anything else. I'm sorry, Mrs. James. Would you like to be left alone for a minute?
wait now. Good morning, Rachel, dear. You keep pining for a life of your own, but somehow with you and her, it always turns out to be bridge night. Where are you? I'm counting this. One, two, stop. That's a girl. Come on now. You know what happens when I get the three? Two. Two and a half. The operation is over. You're out of danger. How can I be out of danger if I'm not dead? You'll be all right. Well, just look at you, all fed and rested. Would I ever love to change places with you? Oh, before I forget, I brought the stationery like I promised. And I forgot something. something well, else. I don't like to plunge into this like this, but there's just is no graceful way of doing it. Calla helped me to apply for a teaching job in Oregon, and I was accepted, and I'm moving there next month. Oh, Drat! I forgot the stamps. Mother, this would dance. you stop fidgeting in your bag and look at me for once, please? Did you hear what I had to say? It's too silly to hear. It's not silly. If you want a little change... I don't I... want a little change. There's no reason to be moving. Move? Why? Because it's time. Now, I have already gotten my ticket, and if you want to go with me, I'll give you the money for yours. We'll discuss that when you get home now. You'll get to see your grandchildren. I don't want to move, Rachel. Then don't. You know, I can't be left alone. Then come That's... with me. Doctor doesn't want me to exert All myself. All you have to do is get on a bus. I don't want to, Rachel. Please. Please. Don't want to what? You don't want to go or you don't want to stay? I don't want to. You're the cruelest thing that ever lived. Don't you care what happens to me? After all those sleepy by bills and chocolate bars and sandwiches and walks, can you ask me that? Yes, I care. But I can't keep you alive. That's not up to me. Never was. Would I have to sell my furniture? Couldn't I even take my room? Yes, you can take your room. You can take anything you like. Mother, Mama, Mommy. All the way back. Such a long, sad, lonely, awful time. moment comes. <laughs> I'm always pushing things out of their cages. Kala, sometimes I wish I could have been different for you. Yeah, well, don't go making a fool of yourself. You know how you feel about fools. Maybe I'm proud to be one.
McCallop. Take care. I hope you find what you want. Not to worry. I'll survive. going, anything may happen. Nothing may happen. Maybe I'll find a friend. Maybe I'll even marry a middle-aged widower and have children in my time. Most of the chances are against it, but not, I think, quite all. It may be that my children will always be temporary, never to be held. But so are everyone's. I will be afraid, always. I may be lonely. What will happen? What will happen? 